If you're tired of the same old passive income ideas that have been recirculated over the years, you're in the right place. In this video, I am going to discuss 7 unique passive income ideas that can make you real money. For each one, I will include a brief summary of the strategy, how much you can make, and some resources that you can use to get started. Okay, let's jump into it. Number 1. Rent out trucks for passive income. If you love the idea of capitalizing on the booming trucking industry, but don't actually want to drive a truck, this may be the perfect passive income strategy for you. The concept is simple. You buy a semi-truck and rent it out on sites like coop.com. You may not have heard of them, but they are a rider company, so they have some serious backing. Now semis can be expensive, with new ones running well over $100,000. Of course, you can buy a used truck which can save you a lot, and you can finance the purchase if you qualify. This will help with the startup costs, but even then, it can be costly. If you want a more affordable option, you can start by just buying a trailer. Decent used trailers run between $30,000 to $40,000. In fact, this may be a more passive way to generate money because a trailer has far fewer moving parts than a semi-truck and will require much less maintenance. The nice thing about Coop is that they make it easy for investors to operate this rental business passively. They will help you figure out what types of vehicles will be most profitable for you based on data for your area. They'll also provide reservation management, key handoffs, and convenient parking, so you can operate this business as passively as possible. How much money can you make renting out your semi-truck? I hopped on Coop and tried out their revenue calculator tool. According to that, if you rent out a semi-truck with no trailer for 31 days, they estimate you will make $4,435.17. If you are just renting out a trailer, they estimate earnings of $1,455.14. If you rent out both, the total is $5,890.31. That's pretty awesome for a nearly completely passive income stream. Obviously, there is no guarantee that your truck will rent out for that much, or that it will always stay rented year-round. And all of that money is not going straight into your pocket. There may be loan or lease payments you need to pay as well as insurance costs. That being said, I have found testimonials of people who have leased their vehicles through Coop and have still come out ahead. I also want to clarify that you are not limited to renting out semi-trucks and trailers. If you are on a tighter budget, you can go cheaper and rent out box trucks, cargo vans, and even pick up trucks through platforms like fetchtruck.com and fluidtruck.com. If you want to learn more about this strategy, check out the video on how to rent out your truck for profit in the description below. If you are enjoying this video, please take a moment to hit the like and subscribe buttons. It helps a lot and really motivates me to create better and better videos. Thanks. Number 2. Use Website Builders to Create a Cash Flowing Blog for You you have probably heard of blogging and how it can be a great way to generate passive income. It's true. I own multiple blogs and make thousands each month from them. That being said, it takes a lot of work to get a blog up and running. You will need to set up your website, perform solid keyword research so you can write about topics that will rank on Google, and write a lot of high-quality articles so you can get enough traffic to your blog. If you want to avoid that work, you can buy an existing blog that is already making money by going on empireflippers.com but that can be an expensive option. You are likely going to be paying between 35 to 45 times the monthly net revenue generated by that blog. So if it makes $1,000 per month, you will be paying around $35,000 to $45,000. Now that's a 27% to 34% return, which I have to admit is pretty good. But if you don't want to shell out that kind of money, there is another option. You can use a blog building service like Niche Website Builders to create your blog from scratch. They will do all of the keyword research, write all the actual articles, and even load them up for you. They have a keyword research team that is dedicated to finding the best keywords for your site and a huge team of writers that can execute on the plan. As of the date of this video, they charge $700 for 10,000 words of content, which includes a tailored keyword list. For $3,500 or one-tenth of the price of the blog we discussed earlier, you can have a blog that has 50,000 words of content. If you assume each article is around 1,000 words, that's 50 articles. It won't be a huge blog, but that is definitely a respectable number of articles. I had my initial consultation with niche website builders and just signed up this week to try them out. I want to use them to grow one of my smaller blogs. I'll keep you posted on how it goes. Number 3. Invest in royalty-producing assets If you love music, movies and other forms of artistic intellectual property, 
you can now own rights to them and enjoy the associated royalty payments. I think it's an interesting and offbeat way to make passive income. If you want to learn more, check out Royalty Exchange. The process is simple. You just go on their site and purchase the assets you like. Once you have secured the IP, you can start earning passive income with it. Their website claims a 10% return and $90 million in transaction volume. Not a bad way to earn 100% passive income with a really cool asset. Number 4. Use Crypto Bots to Make Passive Income There is an interesting passive income crypto strategy that I recently came across. It involves setting up a bot to perform trades of cryptocurrency within a set trading range. Generally speaking, the bot will buy when the price falls and sell when the price goes up. But because of the high volatility of cryptocurrency, these trades will happen all of the time. Now you won't make a ton of money on each trade, but because trades happen so often, they can really add up. How do you do this? First, you will need to open up an account at an exchange like Coinbase or Binance and fund it. An exchange is a platform where you can buy, sell and exchange your cryptocurrency. Once you've done that, you can use an application like Bitscap to set up your bots. This app will connect with your exchange and execute the trades. This happens automatically and you don't need to do anything once you've set up the bot. Now, it's important to note that if your cryptocurrency falls below the trading range that you establish for your bot, then your bot will no longer make trades. This is especially problematic if the price of your crypto falls outside your range because it has dropped a lot. In that case, not only will you have lost value in your crypto due to the price decline, you will no longer be getting the benefit of the trading activity. Bottom line is that there is risk here and you could lose money. That being said, if you believe in crypto and intend to hold it long term, then this might be the perfect strategy for you. You are going to be holding on to it anyway so why not make some extra passive income while you are at it? If interested, I have a link to a video that covers this strategy in more detail below. Number 5. Invest in private funds that buy Amazon FBA and blogging businesses. If you believe in the online business model and want to get in on the action without actually starting your own blog or Amazon FBA business, you can check out Empire Flipper's EF Capital Fund. Their website states that projected average annual returns are around 20%, which sounds pretty good. Of course, nothing's guaranteed. While the payoff might be attractive, the requirements to participate in this fund are high. First, you need to be an accredited investor, which basically means you need at least a million dollar net worth or an income of at least $250,000 per year for the past two years, with an expectation of making a similar amount in the current year. On top of that, the minimum investment amount is $30,000. Obviously, this option only works if you have that kind of money available. Number 6. Rent out stuff you already own. If you don't have a ton of money, you can make passive income for free by renting out stuff you already own. One of my favorite things to rent out, and something that almost everyone has, is extra storage space in your home. That's right, even if you have a spare closet, you can rent that out on places like neighbor.com. Of course, larger, more private, and more secure spaces will command higher rents. For example, according to Finance Buzz, renting out your garage can generate between $100 to $600 per month. Of course, there are many other things you can rent out as well. For example, you can rent out your car on Turo.com, your unused baby equipment on babequip.com, your swimming pool on swimply.com, and your backyard on homecamper.com. Number 7. Create a passive print-on-demand business. If you've got a creative streak or an artistic bent, you can make designs on your computer and sell them online through Merch by Amazon. Now, to be clear, you are not actually selling the designs themselves. You are using the designs in t-shirts, mugs or other merchandise and selling the merchandise. You get paid a cut of each item that gets sold using your design. The reason why this is passive is because once you provide the design, Amazon takes care of the rest. They will put the design on the merchandise and ship it out to the customers. In other words, once you provide the artwork, they handle the production, shipping and customer service all at no cost to you. Just awesome. So there you have it, 7 unique passive income strategies that can actually make you money. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe buttons if you haven't already done so. It helps a ton and I would really appreciate it. Thanks for watching.